Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how you can add multiple columns to autocomplete drop down boxes in Visual Studio Light Switch. Light Switch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. Light Switch makes it easy to create data centric, rich internet applications. I already have an application open that we've been building in this video series. It's a simple order management system that allows us to work with customers and their orders. So let's go ahead and run this real quick to see what we have so far. So here's our search customer screen, and I'm going to open up one of their customers. And then I'm going to open up the order header screen that allows us to enter the order for this customer. OK, so we created this screen in a previous video. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually display not only the, um, the name of the product here in this, in this drop down, I also want to display the uh, description as well. OK, so that's actually a really easy thing to do. All we need to do is go into the design screen. And it's a little trick. You just go down to the the the, uh, the autocomplete box here, okay? And you expand that node, and you'll actually see this uh, summary property here, okay? That's what this summary control is. What we want to do is we want to actually just change this to a columns layout, okay? And when we do that, automatically all the columns in um, for a product are displayed, and we just want to remove is discontinued so that just the product name and the description is displayed in this case. Okay, so let's just go ahead and click Save. Okay, and now when we look, we'll see, there we go. Some of them don't have descriptions, but here are all the descriptions. Now, it looks like they're getting cut off a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and tweak the layout just a little bit more so we can get that going. So we'll select our product, and what I'm going to do is here in the description, okay, we need to make this a little bit bigger, so let's just scroll over to the sizing area, and you'll notice that it's it's 150 pixels as specified here. What we really want to do is just auto-size the width, and now when we say save, and we see the drop-down, and there the uh, descriptions are now fully displaying. Okay, so that's how you can add multiple columns to an autocomplete box in Visual Studio Light Switch. Thanks for watching.